Joe, look at this. Someone's gonna steal my game. You mean someone steals my trap, Joe? Yeah. Damn. A theory that many anthropologists have considered is that this creature could possibly be a mutated bear or a gorilla. Some scientists absolutely scoff at the idea of a Sasquatch, a Bigfoot, a Yeti, a skunk ape or whatever you want to call him. Hey, Joe, look. You got this one, too? Yeah. Science has been proven wrong on many occasions with regard to evolution in the animal kingdom. For instance, 1938, a fish caught off the coast of Africa supposedly extinct for 70 million years. Just a few years back, a tribe of Indians found in Philippines their living habits and tools, supposedly what prehistoric man used to be. They had never seen civilization. Oh, Joe, let's get out of here. There is one good note, though. There's never been a report or an incident of this creature ever attacking or harming a human being. Research, you've done research. 
research. We know it's in southern Arkansas or northern Louisiana. And we're willing to do it. We get the summer free. The only thing we lack are two things. That's money and wheels. You don't really want to go down there, don't you? Man, I want to prove its existence. Prove its existence. <laughs> eat so many hamburgers in my entire life. Chicken. Chicken? I'm from the chicken capital of the world. And my daddy was the king. So we had chicken for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We had chicken fried, barbecued, stewed, skewered. We had chicken... My mother, one day, tried to make chicken jello. <laughs> <laughs> well, that explains it. Do you really believe there's a creature? Yeah, I do. Just like any other phenomena, you know, UFOs and stuff like that. You kind of believe, but you never really believe until you see one. There's a guy down here, never made the papers like the thing down in Well City. This guy comes home from work one day. The two kids are a wreck. They're saying, Daddy, we saw the booger man. We saw the booger man. We saw him. I mean, but they're scared. So he saw the wife was telling stories, right? He says, what have you been telling them? And she can't handle any of it anymore. Snaps 
right in front of his very eyes. I mean, it flips out. They all go in the loony bin. So this guy is just, what happened? So he goes out for 21 days, stalking this thing. By himself? By himself. Yeah. And if my memory serves me well, it's right around his parts here someplace. He goes. Search party goes out after him. And they found him. Totally dismembered. And his gun wrapped around a tree. Up. I believe I relieved myself. Down here, uh, we got a lot of iced coffee. You like some? Good. Yeah. Well, pretty good. Don't want a cup of coffee. I'm changing my pants. Man, it is hot. How much further we got to get there? We got enough time for a little nap before lunch. Almost there. Find Joe Kent. You know Joe Kent? No, some sort of creature attack here. Out there. I think it was out about 40 miles out this way. You don't know though. Appreciate the time. You didn't read anything in the papers uh, out of here about some trapper and his friend that was killed or lost. You know a guy named Joe Kent? Do you know about any creature that lives around here? Am I in Oil City, Louisiana? I believe you're next. Ah, well, uh, actually, I'm not uh, shopping for a haircut today. Well, it kind of looks like you need one. Uh, no, actually, I'm a student from the University of Chicago, and I'm down here doing some research on the Bigfoot creatures. I don't know if anybody had seen it. I was wondering if uh, anybody claimed to have seen it. Like that trapper I read about, lost his partner? Well, I don't know anything about that creature. Maybe you better talk to this man right here. Look, son, I'm Sheriff Billy Carter, and it's my duty to protect the citizens of this parish. That includes keeping them from getting riled up over a wild rumor. Now, you're welcome here, so long as you don't go nosing around scaring the daylights out of these people about some mysterious monster. We've had more problems than we can say grace over that without you. Yeah, what about that trap? Could I see a police report, please? You don't listen very well, do you? 
I told you to forget about any creature you're talking about. Now, if you don't, you're going to have to start doing business with me. Yeah, I make myself clear. Oh, yeah. Perfectly clear. Good. Afternoon. Coke, and I'd like to hold your, I'd like for you to hold a tomato. <laughs> I bet you would. Hey, 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 please. Uh, sit down, please. I'm positive. Amy. Listen, uh, we're a couple of college students who are doing research uh, from the University of Chicago on the Bigfoot creature. And What'd what you say? Bigfoot creature. And what we will... H.B., this fellow here is looking for the Bigfoot creature. <laughs> He's from Chicago. H.B., <laughs> you know anything about any creature? Sure do. Is that right? I was laying up here in bed one night. I heard something stirring out in the kitchen. I got my gun and my flashlight. I went creeping off the floor there. Showed the door side, and there I was, standing face to face, holding red eyes and that long stringy hair. Oh. oh. Yeah, well, what? What happened? This is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> the trapper where is he well i lost him he lost him yeah nice going don't worry about it i already had a warning from the town sheriff to forget about any kind of creature great start hey uh listen it might not be any of my business um, but I heard what was going on in the barber shop, and, uh, well, seeing how, uh, you're researching, uh, I figure I might as well tell you. Tell me what? I see him. You saw Joe Canton? <laughs> no. <laughs> I saw the creature. Listen, I, hey, I don't want this getting around. And, uh, seeing as how I could use a ride home, I figure I could tell you on the way out there. Step into my office. Is it possible? Oh, come on, I want you to be comfortable, man. Yeah. You live close by? No, uh, I live out in the 
country is. It's on down. Well, Orville Bridges, tell us about your experience with the creature. Did you really see him? Experience of what creature? Well, why does everybody clam up when we talk about the creature? Orville, well, we're talking about the creature who supposedly lives in this area. Yeah, well, uh, my memory's just uh, not too good right now. I tell you what, though, you turn that tape recording machine off, my memory might improve. How'd you know that was us? There's old country boy, I ain't quite as stupid as what you'd like to think. Uh, we didn't think you were stupid, Orville. No, we weren't trying to trick you or anything. I mean, this, this is just a part of our research. Yeah, well, just the same. Uh, I don't want this to be repeated. Deal. Deal. Okay. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I was, uh, I was too young to remember. My grandpa told me stories so many times. I figured I could tell you as good as anybody. One day, me and uh, mom and dad just went out a little baby. We all went out on a picnic. Grandma and grandpa. Oh, it's flat again. Yeah. Come on. Hot day. Flat tire. You ladies, come on, get out, please. While we fix this flat tire, take off a load, and y'all get in the shade. All right, come on, over. Get in the office. Get a blanket? Yeah. Mm, I don't know why you I think we don't have a blanket. Get right on it. Get right on over there. Get over there in the shade. That dumb woman. Come on, get that up that way. Oh, Ma, they've been gawking ever since you left. Mama, Mama, Mama. Well, don't you fret none, honey. No. Men no. folk are always fuss. No. no. You pay them no mind. Mama. Mama. Well, you Mama. stay right here Mama. and don't go running off. God damn it, Grandpa. I can't get this last lug off. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of I've been looking for you all day. 
say? Grandpa? What? Only town this morning got a haircut just like Grandma said. Well, you look a lot better. You was getting to look more like a dead gum happy every day. Who are these two fellas? This is, uh, Pahoo? That's Reese. Pahoo? Yes, sir. <laughs> God, Good man. to know you. <laughs> you boys ain't from around here. No, no, no sir. We're from Chicago. Yeah? Yeah, we're anthropology students here doing a research project on the bipedal primate that was reported in these parts. What'd you say? It's a scientific term. It means a creature that uh, walks on its hind legs. Come here. What you been telling them, boys? Grandpa, I, I, I didn't, I didn't think that. Oh, you didn't think it. Best thing for y'all is to get out of here. We don't want nobody snooping around here making us look like a bunch of dumb rednecks. Now, what we've seen and what we're hearing is our own business. So get out of here. Mr. Bridges, we're not trying to make you look like a bunch of dumb rednecks. The only thing that's peculiar about this is that you people have obviously seen something and are reluctant to talk about it. We're afraid to. Now, if there is something out there, well, we're here to find it, or capture it if necessary, but we can't do that without the cooperation of people that have seen it. Doesn't look like we're going to get any. Come on, Pahu, let's get out of here. Reese, what about that $25? What $25? $25 that we're... Saving to give to the person who well, cooperates. First, cooperate for the reward money. Right? Reward? Wait a minute. Yeah, hey, go in there and tell your grandma to spare a couple of extra plates. We don't feed some Yankee boys. Get on in there. <laughs> <laughs> now, boy, what, uh, what was that uh, y'all talking about? That reward? For information. Information? <laughs> well, y'all come on in here up on the porch and we'll talk it over, yeah? <laughs> you boys like it down here? Yeah, it's a little hot. Oh, it gets a little hot, but the heck is nice down here. We've got good food down here, though, boy. What's this thing to do? Wait. What's that? The reward. <sighs> There's 20. Twenty-five. Sure enough, there's been a few Yankee boys. <laughs> sure enough. an old cat being cornered by a red bone hound. Well, you boys almost ready to eat? Supper's nearly ready. Yes, ma'am, honey. <laughs> Wait a minute, boys. I don't want you Yankee boys to say one word about that creature. You hear? Yes, sir. Of course, this just scares the devil out of my wife. 
All right. Let's go and get some meat, boys. Tell all the way it is. It's the best food you boys ever had. You get on this side and I sit down there. Come in, sit down. What do you say if I say what's pahu? Pahu. Oh, what's good? Beans. 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 Green. Oh, that looks good. Chicken. Uh, you boys like chicken, I know. I know you like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I reckon it's about my favorite. Go on over and sit down, Ma. Huh. <laughs> sure is good, I'll tell you that much. We start now? Wait a minute, huh? We, uh, I don't mind your meat, but we always thank a good long push. Lord, I want to thank for this day, even though it was hot. I want to thank for my wonderful wife, for our grandson, Arvo, and for giving him the inspiration to get a haircut. I want to thank for these two boys who come down to visit us, even if they're all Yankees. I want to thank for all the vittles, especially the chicken. Amen. 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 Now, y'all start this Amen. right on around here. Because when it gets back around here, stop. Hey, this from your garden? Yeah. Well, we have yeah. greens. Yeah, we just don't Every get that Yeah, we grow it. Oh, this is yeah. good. Oh, Bobby love it. Organic. That's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really true. You eat that chicken because it's really good. Yeah, I believe I'll start running. We got more, plenty more of it, too. Right? How about some more greens, Reggie? Mm, no, thank you. I've had enough. You know something I can't remember having such a fine meal. Well, thank you. Uh, I'll have a little more. Good <laughs> <laughs> right. for you, son. Oh, well, you know, you're something. Well, you know, I, I do enjoy good home cooking. You know, I caught a catfish one time, weighed 350 pounds. Really? And I took that sucker home and learned him how to read and write. <laughs> Just a mule. I did that after me asking you not to. We're sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that's okay. Um, but as you can see, my granddad's uh, really sensitive about it. Yeah. Well, listen, you uh, know a place around here where we could camp tonight? Yeah, sure. Why don't you, uh, why don't you just stay out in the barn tonight? Uh, thanks, but, uh, 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 sure, why not? Thank you. Okay. That's very nice. Green. Match and aperture. Knob one quarter to the left. Oh, oh. light. Oh. Green. I believe I'm 
I ate too much. How many times have I told you and reminded you about your dietary habits? Got nothing to do with hamburgers, french fries, and cokes. It was this chicken. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Arrived in Oil City, 11.47 a.m., weather conditions, etc., etc., same as last report. We met the local sheriff. Tell him I wouldn't want to mess with him. For sure. Initially, no new data. Only after brilliant interrogation on Mr. Lewis's behalf, did we lose some valuable and pertinent information as to the whereabouts of Joe Canton the Trapper. Oh. Yeah, right. Ah, we did meet a local family, one uh, Bridges family, uh, Orville Bridges in particular. to talk about this subject. Wonder why. I've heard screams. I mean, I was in Vietnam. I heard screams. Matter of fact, I used to go with an old gal every time she'd get excited, she'd scream. Now, that scream scares me. Oh, I'll tell you what I think we ought to do is just gather up all our equipment and just head back to the Windy City and we'll just call this whole thing a misadventure. Reeves, old buddy, you listening to me? I'll be in touch with you. Right. Thanks. Do you want to know what he said? Huh? After me. Oh, 
believe I just fell in love. Oh, is she a beauty? Those are I thank you. Dr. Birch believes me. What do you say there? Well, he wants to have a silent expert examine the tape to determine whether or not it is a fake. Uh. Hey. Listen to it again. Then you tell me if you think it's a phony, okay? I believe, I believe. Just listen. so funny. We didn't get to eat. She threw the food at us. That was funny. She was beautiful, though. She was beautiful. The girls were beautiful across the counter. The redhead, did you see her? She was looking at me. Oh, what I would The skin, the hair, the eyes. It was just... It was all there. Hi. 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 You enjoy your meal? Yeah. Uh... Uh, no, uh, I think the waitress did. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. Hi. The girls live around here? Sure. Lived here all our lives. Oh, really? Well, my name's Reeve. My name's Becky. And this is Hi, Michelle. Becky. Hi, Michelle. This is Pahu. Pahu? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. You're the guys from Chicago, aren't you? How do you know that? Well, in town this guy's word gets around. Oh. Oh. What do you all do here at night? Oh, we just do what comes natural. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen. Um, we're going to set up camp tonight outside of town, the state park, you know where. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Why don't you drive by about 7.30? Seven. What do you think? Yeah. Sure, sounds like Wow, that'll be a good time. Mm. That's, That's good. Cool. What's wrong? Here comes the man. The what? Ooh, he's a mean one. Well, we had a little discussion yesterday. Business, you know. Hi, Dad. Baggy, it's a nice prayer meeting. I'll let your mother want you home early. Sure. Well, did you sleep on the conversation we had in the barbershop yesterday? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Maggie, go on home, dear. You don't look like no. you, Dad. <laughs> what did I tell you? Right. We gotta be cool. Casual. Just play a quick, you know, we haven't been waiting or... Hi! Hi! Oh, we just sitting around. Sorry we're late, but we had to go to prayer meeting. Oh. Uh, I'm glad you guys could come. And you guys like I mean, would you all like a beer? <laughs> Love one. Yeah, I'd like one. Mother Nature, 
want to do what comes natural? <laughs> you Chicago people don't waste much time, do you? No, I like them. Well, I like you. Uh, no, you, you really can't waste time because, well, life's the short. You're right. I was just thinking about that the other day. Oh, Hey, uh, it looks like we're going to have to move inside. Oh. Yeah, it was... How do you like this? Oh, That was fun. I you got a stool? Yeah, he got you a stool. What's the stool? Yeah, what's the stool? Oh, city, huh? Huh? Yeah. You're a beautiful eye. Oh, uh, well, that's does then. Never even kissed a Yankee before. <laughs> um, I hear you've been doing research on the creature. Uh, um, yeah, well, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. I did some research on the creature one night and had a date with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you ready for the north to meet the south? I don't know why not. Okay. Well, <clears throat> watch out because here comes the north. No. There we out loud. There's a time and place for everything, and there's oh, other things to play with. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> Want a beer? We were just having a little party. I think that's funny, boy. No. Well, if you do, we're both going to have a big laugh. Because you're going to the slammer. What? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Now, get up and come on. He'd be nice to you. All packed up and get out of here, understand? Ten minutes, all that time. any more deputies out there because every time I send one out he comes back all scratched up where you jumped on him. If you're writing graffiti on these walls you're in big trouble. If you're standing on my table writing graffiti on these walls you're in bigger trouble. Sign Billy Carter. Come on, 
my place. Get all the men you can and bring all your ammo. Come on. Hurry up. Go. Yeah. Come on. Swear I seen the creature and he damn near come into my house. Go. Go. Just what in the hell are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you I seen the creature. He's that big. Joe, have you been drinking? You don't believe me. Close your eyes. Hold your left arm straight out and touch the end of your nose. You've been drinking, all right. Just a little bit. claim his partner was attacked by a bipedal primate? Bipedal what? I mean a creature of some sort. Well, yeah, that was me. <coughs> I'll tell you boys something. Old Willie was the best. Well, he was the second best trapper ever was in his part. He was jerked out of that boat just like you'd snatch a catfish out of the bayou. Neck was broken. Snap, just like a twig. You didn't drown. But then you've seen him under that creature yourself. Yeah, I'm right, I've seen him. I'll tell you, last night, when he come by my house, if I hadn't been drinking so much, I'd have blowed his butt off. <coughs> well, what did he look like? Up on that invitation. You mind if we follow you out to your place? Here, I'll, I'll put you up in the swamp coffee. 
Tell us some more about what happened to your friend. Well, I don't talk about my private matters to just anybody, but I guess since we was all just in the calaboose together, it don't matter. I went back in them swamps a hell of a lot farther than I ever been before. And I found the tracks. And I started falling. And they just went in deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's when I began to notice something kind of strange. There's lots of birds and that little stuff around. But there wasn't no big game at all. Now, I've been trapping in these here swamps for 40 years. And I know I should have found some wild pigs or some coons or something. How to get out there? Yeah, you go through that gate over there. Head up the hill. Stay to the right of the ridge. Then just keep going, going, going as far as you can go. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, Thank you, Joe. Nice meeting you. Go ahead and make jokes. You stupid. 
I don't think you understand how dangerous this can be. I mean, I've been in places just like this, just like this. In Nam. Yeah, I was running around getting my butt shot at while you're probably lollygagging around Canada. I think you better go back now. The van's not far from here. Keys are in it. Got you in here, can get you out again. Because the last thing I need right now from you is trouble. I wanted to just get out of here. You know, I might just do that. I never really realized how important this project could be. The scientific importance makes the danger all worthwhile, doesn't it? I'm glad to hear that. Because I think something's been circling the camp. Now? Why don't you tell me? I wasn't sure. lost my appetite.
clear 190. Clear 190. I have a mayday. Mayday, please. Clear. Clear 190. Clear 190, please. I have a mayday. I have a mayday. Never mind. Get off the line. Get off our band. Come on now. 1-9 clear, please. 1-9 clear, please. I have a mayday. Come on, it's an emergency! Boy, that sounds just great. You know, I just come down from Nashville. I've got to up there. And, man, i got to tell you something, fat boy. That is the place to be. And what you're talking about. Country music, fine women, right? Oh, those country women. Yeah, i got to tell you something about them. Country women. Of course, I don't dare tell you over this band. This is Sheriff Carter here. Who's calling Mayday? I said, who's... Yes, clear, here, 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 here. I, I got a mayday. I have uh, Black Lake, and I need some people to come out of uh, the swamp. Slow down, buddy boy. I can't understand you. We got uh, about 25 miles east of Joe Kent's place of the old swamp road of County 90. You got that? And hurry and come as fast and as... Come as fast as you can. Okay. Are you there? I got you. Just, Just take it easy. I'm on my way. Thank you.
is it? Here's Bennett Carter. Open the door. I was looking in the come on for the thing. Come on, let's go. And I he came out. All right. That's all right. That's all right. Get it. Right there.
Why are you asking about you? I think she's ready for uh, another hot date. <laughs> Can't even hear me, can you? Uh -huh. Amen. You hear me now? You gotta make it. Because Well, we got a lot of things to do. Becoming a way of life 